today we are reading A Mother for Choco by Kiko Kazka. Choco was a little bird who lived all alone. He wished he had a mother, but who could his mother be? One day he set off to find her. First, Choco met Mrs. Giraffe. Oh, Mrs. Giraffe, he cried, you are yellow just like me. Are you my mother? I'm sorry, sighed Mrs. Giraffe, but I don't have wings like you. Next, Choco met Mrs. Penguin. Oh, Mrs. Penguin, he cried, you have wings just like me. Are you my mother? I'm sorry, sighed Mrs. Penguin, but I don't have big round cheeks like you. Then Choco met Mrs. Walrus. Oh, Mrs. Walrus, he cried, you have big round cheeks just like me. Are you my mother? Now look, grumped Mrs. Walrus, I don't have striped feet like you, so don't bother me. No matter where Choco searched, he couldn't find a mother who looked just like him. When Choco saw Mrs. Bear picking apples, he knew she couldn't be his mother. Mrs. Bear didn't look like him at all. Choco was so sad he started to cry. Mommy, mommy, I need a mommy. Mrs. Bear came running to see what was the matter. As she listened to Choco's story, she sighed. Oh dear, if you had a mommy, what would she do? Oh, I'm sure she would hold me, sobbed Choco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear, and she held Choco very tight. Yes, and I'm sure she would kiss me, said Choco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear, and she lifted Choco and gave him a big kiss. Yes, and I'm sure she would sing and dance with me to cheer me up, said Choco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear, and they sing and dance together. When they stopped to rest, Mrs. Bear turned to Choco and said, Choco, maybe I could be your mother. You, Choco cried. But you aren't yellow, and you don't have wings, or big round cheeks, or striped feet like me. My goodness, said Mrs. Bear, that would make me look very funny. Choco thought it was funny too. Well, said Mrs. Bear, my other children are waiting for me at home. Why don't you join us for apple pie, Choco? Apple pie sounded wonderful to Choco, so off they went. When they arrived, Mrs. Bear's other children rushed out to greet her. Choco, said Mrs. Bear, meet Hippie, Allie, and Piggy. I'm their mother, too. The sweet smell of apple pie and the sound of laughter soon filled Mrs. Bear's home. After the delicious treat, Mrs. Bear gave all her children a big, warm bear hug, and Choco was very happy that his new mommy looked just the way she did. What was your favorite part of this book? What did the characters learn in the story and what can you learn from them? How did their feelings and ideas change from the beginning to the end of the book? What do you think makes someone family or like family even if you are not related? Who are some important people in your life and how do they make you feel? How do they make you feel loved and cared for? Use paper and drawing materials or the notepad on your phone or device to draw or write some special things your mom or mother-like figures do for you. For example, listen, comfort you when you're sad, give hugs, sing and dance to cheer each other up. Please like, share, and subscribe to Lauren Martin Books for more read-along stories. And visit laurenmartinbooks.com for more books and free learning resources. Thank you for reading with me.